All right, welcome back to Outmouse Labs. My name is Penny and I'm glad you're here. Today we are going to be doing just a quick video on how you might create a cheat code system for your RPG Maker MZ game. So here's how it works. We have just a basic kind of test game set up and inside we look and we have no items. If we talk to our cheat cat, do you know any cheat codes? It's going to bring up our name box and from there we can put in a code. I happen to know one is blood. You got 99 sips of blood. So now we check our items and we've got 99 sips of blood. You can have as many options as you want for cheat codes and you could set a switch so that you can only do it once or let them do it as many times as they want. Let's take a look at how we actually made this. So in our event, we have the dialogue and then we turn on name input processing for a character who I've just named Code. Code is in our actors. Number 10, that's code. Okay, so um, then we check if the name of code is blood, then play a sound, change the items to 99 sips of blood, and then tell the player they got it. If I had instead put starlight in there, it would have played the same sound, changed it to Coifs of Starlight, and told the player that. You can have as many of these as you like. You could also use this as some for as a password or have a scene where they have to call out the name of an ancient hero. Any number of things. Uh, the point is you can use this name box to have interaction between your player and your game. And one of those ways would be to have the cheat codes. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you're having fun making your game. Take care.